Welcome to our channel. Brace yourself for the exhilarating tale of Masayoshi Son, a man who has been dubbed the unicorn hunter and hailed as the craziest billionaire ever. From being the richest man in the world for a fleeting three days to suffering a staggering personal loss of nearly $70 billion, Son's financial roller coaster ride is unprecedented. This is a man who once threatened self immolation if a business deal didn't go through, and who has invested billions based solely on the sparkle in entrepreneurs' eyes. Join us as we delve into the thrilling and controversial world of Masayoshi Son, the unicorn hunter, and explore the wild and unconventional path he's taken as a billionaire. Let's begin this incredible journey. Have you ever wondered what it takes to overcome adversity and achieve incredible success? Masayoshi Son, the founder of SoftBank Group, has a remarkable story that proves the power of determination and perseverance. Born to immigrant parents in Japan, Sun faced numerous challenges due to his heritage, enduring discrimination and bullying throughout his childhood. But instead of letting these obstacles define him, he resolved to build a better life for himself. Inspired by his idol, Den Fujita, who introduced McDonald's to Japan, Sun set his sights on becoming Japan's most successful businessman. He relentlessly pursued his dreams, even going as far as flying to Tokyo to personally meet Den Fujita when his phone calls went unanswered. Impressed by Sun's determination, Den agreed to a 15-minute meeting and advised him to focus on the computer industry. Den also offered a pivotal suggestion, Sun should go to America. Taking this advice to heart, Sun, at the age of 16, embarked on a journey to California to pursue his entrepreneurial aspirations. He immersed himself in English language studies and convinced a high school to allow him to take the college entrance exam early. Within a month of enrolling, Sun graduated and pursued studies in economics and computer science at the University of California. But Sun's ambition didn't stop there. Always on the lookout for opportunities, Sun spent just five minutes each day brainstorming invention ideas, seeking solutions to everyday problems, exploring opposite perspectives, and combining existing concepts. Among his ideas, he identified a pocket-sized device for language translation. With the help of a physics professor, he built a prototype and successfully sold the patent to Sharp for a staggering $1.7 million at the age of 19. While venturing into the tech industry, Sun also stumbled upon another successful endeavor. Importing Space Invaders arcade machines from Japan to the United States, he strategically placed them in bars and restaurants. This innovative concept captivated Americans, and within six months, Sun imported over 350 arcade machines, generating a profit exceeding $1 million. After his move to the United States, Sun began brainstorming new business ideas, mapping out 40 potential ventures. He ranked them based on various metrics and identified software distribution as the most promising opportunity. Thus, SoftBank was born. Despite Sun's lack of experience in the software industry, he faced skepticism and even lost two employees who doubted his vision. But Sun remained undeterred. Working tirelessly, Sun embraced the hustle culture, dedicating seven days a week to his business and sleeping as little as possible. His commitment paid off as SoftBank began to thrive. Riding the wave of demand in personal computing in the early 1990s, the company experienced exponential growth. However, just as success seemed within grasp, Sun faced a severe health setback. Diagnosed with chronic hepatitis, he became bedridden and faced an uncertain future. Despite the challenges, Sun's determination pushed him forward. He concealed his illness, attending meetings while still in the hospital and continuing to drive SoftBank's expansion. Thankfully, he recovered. But this wake-up call reinforced his belief that he needed to act even bigger, faster, and bolder. Sun took SoftBank public, raising substantial funds to fuel his ambitions. He shifted his focus beyond software distribution, making audacious investments in various tech companies. Recognized for his visionary mindset, Sun invested in Yahoo, among other startups, with remarkable returns. 
SoftBank Success transformed it into a venture capital fund, constantly seeking the next big opportunity. Sun's ability to identify potential winners led to one of the most exceptional investments of all time, Alibaba. Despite initial resistance from Alibaba's founder, Jack Ma, Sun persisted and secured a stake that would later become worth billions of dollars. Not content with just one triumph, Sun raised the largest Japanese investment fund and continued investing in hundreds of internet companies. He believed that the internet would revolutionize the world, and he positioned SoftBank at the forefront of this technological shift. Sun's relentless drive and ability to navigate risks and opportunities earned him the title of the Bill Gates of Japan. For a brief period, he even surpassed Bill Gates as the richest person in the world, solidifying his status as a global business titan. In the early 2000s, the dot-com bubble burst, and Masayoshi Sun finds himself facing a monumental loss of $70 billion. It could have been the end for a lesser individual, but Sun refuses to let adversity define him. Undeterred, he plunges forward, ready to seize new opportunities with a renewed fervor. One bold move after another, Masayoshi Sun charges into the unknown. He storms into the Japanese government's telecoms office, demanding change. This is the end, he proclaims, threatening to douse himself in gasoline unless his voice is heard. And it works. He secures a foothold in the broadband business, even if it means swallowing short-term losses. His mantra, rapid growth and market domination, profits can wait. Critics and naysayers question his methods, labeling him reckless. But Masayoshi Sun knows there's a bigger game at play. He's not content with just one victory. His gaze shifts to the horizon, to the next technological revolution, mobile. With his sight set on the iPhone, he approaches Steve Jobs himself. The response, laughter, but Sun's unwavering determination persuades Jobs, and the exclusive rights to sell the iPhone in Japan become a reality. Yet Masayoshi Sun's ambitions know no bounds. He continues to invest, to bet big. His audacious creation, the Vision Fund, a staggering $100 billion venture capital fund, solidifies his status as a force to be reckoned with in the tech world. Some call him a gambler, others question his methods, but there's no denying his impact. Masayoshi Sun becomes a catalyst for change, shaping industries, economies, and the very fabric of technological progress. But amid the acclaim, whispers of controversy arise. Skeptics argue that he creates bubbles, inflates prices and disrupts the true value of companies. His critics claim that profitability and sustainability take a backseat to grandeur. Yet Masayoshi Sun remains unfazed, unyielding in his belief that he can shape the future. Love him or loathe him, Masayoshi Sun's story is a captivating saga of ambition, risk-taking, and unwavering optimism. It raises profound questions. Can one person truly mold the future through audacious investments and unwavering belief? Is Sun a visionary pioneer, a ruthless risk-taker, or something else entirely? As we navigate an ever-changing world, his tale reminds us to dream big, to challenge the status quo, and to embrace calculated risks. The future belongs to those who dare to think beyond the boundaries, who possess the audacity to shape the world in their image. Masayoshi Sun's journey isn't just about personal wealth or power, it's a testament to the power of technology and its potential to transform lives. His relentless pursuit of the future serves as an inspiration to us all, a reminder that the greatest achievements often stem from boldness, persistence, and an unwavering belief in what lies ahead. So, as we ponder the enigma that is Masayoshi Sun, let us ask ourselves, what would it take to create our own audacious path? How can we embrace calculated risks and shape a future that defies the constraints of the present? The answers lie within, waiting to be discovered. And that was it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give this a like, comment and subscribe down below. Share the video to all and tap on the bell icon so you never miss an upload. I shall see you in the next video.